rated T for teen. UFC 100, July 11th, Mandalay Bay is gonna be f- insane. In the first fight, Brock Lesnar was putting a beating on Frank Mir, but Steve Mazzagatti decided that Brock Lesnar was punching the back of Frank Mir's head. He stopped the fight, gave Frank Mir time to recover, they re-engaged, and then Frank Mir wound up catching Brock Lesnar in his guard with a knee bar, tapping him out for the victory. Frank Mir is this newly invented, reinvigorated Frank Mir. And we certainly saw it in the Noguera fight. The Noguera fight was the most impressive wow. performance in Frank Mir's career against arguably the most dangerous guy he's ever faced. Brock Lesnar, the guy who is a former national all-American wrestling champion. This fight is all about revenge. Frank Mir beat me in my very first debut in the UFC. The fight that turned everybody around was the Heath Herring fight. Ends up Brock Lesnar comes in like a freight train and runs right through Heath Herring. Have I answered the question, can Brock Lesnar fight? George St. Pierre is on a roll. First of all, you got the dominating victory over John Fitch. In his last fight, George St. Pierre took on the toughest test so far of his career in BJ Penn. As a champion, I don't fight to be champion because I am champion right now. I fight for my legacy. I fight to become the best welterweight as ever fought in UFC. George is good everywhere. The toughest test to date in his career in Tiago Alves. The biggest, strongest 170 pounder ever to be in the UFC. When you close the cage, man, I just got one thing in my mind, just destroy him. I gotta hurt him in every second of the fight. That's what I think of him. This guy has knocked out Matt Hughes. Carol Parisian put a beating on Josh Koshek. Three very impressive wins, and I'm gonna have a, the biggest challenge on my career. I'm gonna look for the knockout, and that's the way it's gonna happen. I'm gonna knock him out. Mm-hmm.